Good afternoon, Sean Patrick Green, Executive Director of Great Lakes Christian Film Festival. Thank you guys for all coming. You clap, it's okay. You can tell us that's the people here, right? I'm just kidding. So we got a handful of people here hanging out with us, but today I want to introduce to you the uh, one of the inspirational people in Buffalo, an actor, he's an acting coach, he uh, worked with people like Jim Caviezel from Passion of the Christ, and also he's a, he's a casting director, and right now I'm actually one of his students, so that's how I met him, and I'm learning some things, and he's going to keep teaching me, probably drill me and, you know, drill me to the ground, that's great, that's what I want. So, without any further ado, I want to give all the time we can to my man, Frank Rossi. Frank Rossi, thank you. Anything for the military guys. Yes. I love the military people. God bless you guys. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Uh, what are we here for? The acting? We, we have, and I'll be serious. But like, we can talk about acting. We can talk about what you should do as a writer, because I'm also a writer. We can talk about casting. Or we can talk about anything else. Who wants to open up the floor? Casting. Yeah, casting, because you all want to be in a movie. You care less about me. Like, whatever. Frank, we don't care. Just tell us how to get there. I got it. I understand. Yeah, we want to make some money. Kill it. Are we on? Okay. We're, not, we're not on. There you go. Thank you. Is it white? Oh, is it hot? No, it's enough to give you a little bit more volume. A little bit more range? Cameras. Yes. Casting for what? Film, TV, or commercials, or stage? What do you want to know? Well, here's, a, here's what I like to say about casting. The entertainment business, if you're in theater or film or anything, you have to know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing and you're not trained properly, it's very recognizable on camera because the film, you know, the camera never lies. So if you're coming in to read for something and you're not well trained or you don't know what you're specifically doing, then it's a lot harder to get parts. Is there a substitute for that? No. Because the other people are good. We, you know, I've been fortunate to cast last year Marshall, the, the, the Thurgood Marshall movie, with all the really great actors from New York and LA. And we were able to cast 21 Buffalo principals and five from Pittsburgh and Cleveland. That movie's going to be in a lot of theaters. The acting is stupendous, it's excellent. But so are the people that we got from here, which I'm very proud of. So we had essentially, of the 52 speaking roles, 26 came from here. 21 from here, five I got from Pittsburgh, Cleveland. On the last movie I just did, that's with William Fickner, uh, a terrific, amazing actor, and an even more amazing guy. Made everybody on the set feel so comfortable. And that guy's one of the greatest character actors ever. But he's a theater. He knows everything about acting, and essentially he said, you want people, it's got to look like you're not doing anything, just being 100% yourself. So what's the essence of acting? Being yourself is more than enough to impress anyone. Now can you play it? That's what acting is. So you have to have a great headshot initially, and then... You have to know how to take sides. Everybody knows what sides is here, obviously. You gotta be able to take the sides and break them down. You gotta do character analysis. You have to do script analysis to know what you're doing so that uh, you can bring the location of the scene to the audition. So it's, 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 it's a little involved, but you wanna be believable in the audition process. So you have to kind of rehearse the scenes at the location and then bring that to the audition, so when you're standing in front of a camera, all that movement is you standing there, so that's kind of what I teach. But again, I, I'd like to say that I'm really accustomed to New York and LA, that level of actors, so we have several that are here, which I'm very proud of. Uh, there's some really talented people here, and it's, it's going well, that's all I can say, it's great. So, I would see people that are, well, think about it this way, because I've been acting 27 years in the Screen Actors Guild. I've been in that, a member of that. So I've been in a few things. Um, and it's always the same. Uh, you, you, you remember who you 
cast because they make you look good. So I tell young actors, myself too, when you want, because I know none of them casting things that are like, you know, Hollywood things, it's like, wait a minute, I have a problem. I need to cast 27, 28 people for this movie. So essentially, casting people want you to be the answer. That makes my job easier, doesn't it? So, like, I don't want to mention a lot of names, but, well, when Joe Giambra comes in, can I do that? I can say that, right? So when Joe Giambra comes in, I'm the, because <laughs> I know what he's going to do. And then there's a lot of there's a lot of other people that are really tremendous, a lot of theater people here that are really good. And then, um, and I'm proud to say, I have a lot of people that I've talked to that are really good. And, and on this last movie, we had eight principal actors in this movie that I, that I taught. Um, Marshall. One of my favorite guys is Robin Bates. He's 5'2", 65. He's in the Marshall trailer. He's the bad guy, the good guy. Like He's just got a great part. He's got a principal role. He's in Kansas with all these businesses around the country, but he loves it. And, um, but he's learning. They do scene work. you got to know what you're doing. A lot of people don't want to, they don't want to learn. So then when you get in front of a camera, this is a this is a tough business because you have to do nothing while the camera's rolling, but yet you have to do all the work underneath it to look like you're not doing anything. And what I always equate it to is sports, because I play a little bit of sports, high school, college football. Um, it's almost like a running back where you do the work all week, what you do in practice, you do in the game, you study the defenses, you study everything. And then you just do the same thing. You're in the backfield and you just look. You just look straight ahead. You look this way. You look that way. You check the defense. The ball snapped. You get the ball. You don't think at all. It's all reaction. You cannot think. If you're thinking as an actor, we cannot hire you. Does that make sense? So you can equate that to dancing, singing, acting, any kind of sports, any kind of even. Um, it doesn't matter. You can't use this, you gotta use this. Just like real life. When in doubt, do what you would do in real life. Even Bill Bill Fickner was here. There's other guys here, Reggie Hutton was here. All these guys have been here. It's always the same thing. If you're acting, we can't use you. You have to be real, does that make sense? So you have to, be, you have to learn how to do it. I've had the good fortune to study in New York City with Greg Ziddle and Alderson from the Playhouse. Stella Adler herself was one of my teachers. So, um, uh, Bobby Moresco from Crash. Arthur Sherman from the Actors Studio. Vincent, I mean, I've had a lot of teachers, like probably 16 in my life. So that's the biggest thing I see. People don't, they come in, they don't know what to do on an audition. Okay, then thank you. Because for those that have the experience when you're on the ass, when you were giving your headshots and resumes, were you looking for? On the ass. Sure. I, obviously, I know who looks demographics and some of that. The headshot's really right. important. I want to know in the headshot that it's 100% you in the shot. Sure. I can tell from a headshot how good of an actor you are based on your headshot. Because the essence of who you are comes through your eyes from soul. If you can't take a headshot like that, then we see that and go, okay. Then just push to the side. That's what you do. Um, that's the essentially what you do with the headshot. Then you look at the back of the resume. All right. Now, essentially, in Buffalo, there's not a lot of credits that you would have, so that's a, that's not a big deal. Um, well, let's talk theater experience as an example. Theater experience, that would help. I would see theater people yeah, they're they're because they've done a lot of theater. So I like to see the people, you know, the Joes and the Mike Dugan. I don't want to keep mentioning all these names, but there's a lot of good actors here that I because they're your go-to people. But they've done 50 plays. Okay, I'll be happy to see anybody who's done all those plays because I'm from theater in New York, so I understand theater pretty well. Yeah, I would see somebody that's been in a lot of theater if they're the right look. You guys got to remember something. It's 80 percent look. I don't care how good you are. If you don't have the right look for that role, it, it, it doesn't matter. You see? But I teach my younger, all the actors. I used to go out in L.A. a lot as an actor. 
but they just want to see who I was. So my, my whole attitude, is, a lot of these guys know this, like, you got to blow them away and then walk away. You got to on an audition. So I remember doing, I went in for Days of Our Lives once. Remember that soap opera that they still got? Is it still on? So I'm reading for Doris. She's like, I'm doing my thing. Again, that's a lot of work to get the audition. So you're coming in the middle. You're doing three things somebody else won't think about. And it looks like you're not doing anything. So this is not easy to be at that level. And she goes, well, Frank. I go, yeah, I know. I'm not right for this, right, Doris? Yeah, I know, I know. But she goes, but we got something. And I go, I'm sure you do. So I'm going to go. I'm going to hang by the phone at the house. You call me. I'll be at home. 